In Power Retrieve, you are able to set up a file room structure that's relevant to your organization, potentially with multiple filing cabinets, and within these, folders that hold your documents. Additional depth can be created if required also. Although standalone scanners can be used, copiers provide distributed scanning compared to the centralized manual nature of standalone scanners, so are proving to be the most popular method for ongoing scanning. You simply walk to your nearest copier, press scan, select the button on the touch screen with the name of the folder you wish to scan to, and that is the end of your effort. PowerTrieve automatically collects the scanned images, files them into that folder, and indexes the entire printed content on every page. This means you can find the proverbial needle in a haystack, no matter where it appears within the document, or stack of documents, based on the information that is known or critical at that time. Even if you don't retrieve very often, the removal of that need to manually index or rename every document provides significant benefits. If I wanted to find a delivery note, I simply tick in the box of that folder, type in the number of the delivery note that I require, 97293, I search for it and it instantly finds me delivery note number 97293. You see that the software also highlights on the image where it has found that information. So literally somebody has scanned this in and I've been able to find it based on that number. But the benefit of the content retrieval and the highlighting of the words that I've asked for means that I can actually search for whatever information I can remember. So, for example, I can remember that the client's name was Hallam something. Can't remember the full name. The product code was 722M24. And I'm not entirely sure of the date, but I know that it was at some point in August 2012. So I have literally typed in the bits I can remember press search and we found this one document. If we pop this up to full screen and we can then have a look at this and see, right, what has it found? Ah, of course the company was Hallam Steel Stock, but it still found it for me. Further down we have the product code 722M24. And you will notice that I searched for the word August 2012, but I've also been able to find 6 of the 8th 12, 1st of the 8th, 2012, and the word August. Power Retrieve is able to find the date no matter what format you have searched for it or it appears, catering for all the different variations that everybody uses. For example, if my mindset is thinking of it as 31-12-00, and I search for that, you will see that I also find 31 December 2000, 31 slash 12 slash 2000. Even the number format is different to how I've asked for it, but Paratrieve has found it for me no matter what. To have a look and see what it's actually brought back for me, you will see that it's actually told me it's found three documents with the criteria that I've asked for. Here are those three documents. And it tells me that in this document I have 47 hits, so 47 occurrences of what I've asked for. It brings back initially the hottest line of text, where the, the hottest fragment of text, where the information I've asked for appears. Highlighting in colour the words that I've asked for, so that it jumps out at me, but more importantly I can see the context that my criteria appears in. And because it's got more than one hit, I have an arrow here, that means I can expand that one document and scroll through and see all 47 of those hits. You'll notice that this is a 29 page document and yep I can grow, scroll through the pages but if I suddenly say this is the bit of information I require click on it and it jumps me straight to page 15 in this instance and as we've already established highlights on that page where the information appears. Still browse backwards and forwards but it has found me the needle in a haystack. It's not just about searching and jumping to the correct bit of information. 
If I need to send this to someone but maybe don't want to send all 29 pages, as we know in email systems that causes me a problem. It just puts the whole document in, I don't get a choice. But in Power Retrieve, when I click email, it opens up this window, window and says, OK, what would you like to send? All 29 pages? The current page you're looking for? Or a particular range? And I can say, well, actually, I require pages 2 to 9, 14, and 23 to 25, for argument's sake. I then press Send. And I use Outlook in my example, so it opens up my Outlook email editor and puts the document straight in as an attachment. But you will see that it is only 12 pages, not the 29 that originally were in that document. So it's rapid distribution of the information, but I actually have complete control over how much of that document I would be sending it through. So we could also have a stack of documents, but still only send the correct documents that I'm looking for. We take the, the searching on the content further because obviously we are at the mercy of OCR interpretation where it looks at that scanned image and decides what that character shape makes it look like. But the problem is it can misread C's as E's or O's or, or S's as 8's etc. Well Power Retrieve has the unparalleled error tolerance to make sure that we are still able to find that information even if it's made mistakes. So if I search for invoice 97 slash 16, it comes up and tells me no results found. In other systems, that means we've now lost that document. But in Power Retrieve, you simply tick in the box that says include fuzzy matches, do the search again, and you will see what it has actually brought back for me. It's misread the E at the end of invoice as an O. Well, if we have a look at this document, it's no surprise that it's made mistakes. That is a very poor quality document. But the important issue here is, it is invoice 9716. It is the document that I was looking for, but it's misread this E as an O. Well, it's hardly surprising when we see it close up. If anything, I'd be more disturbed if it read it as an E. No gap here and no line across the middle. This is the real world and we're not in control of the quality of the originals. Power Retrieve has the error tolerance to overcome the real world problems that we will face with OCR. So with Power Retrieve you genuinely can throw your documents into the system day after day. No effort, no manual intervention. Power Retrieve will automatically index the entire printed content so you can search for whatever information becomes important, no matter where it appears in the document. Then, despite potential spelling mistakes, bad clues, wrong date formats, or inaccurate OCR interpretations, Power Retrieve will still find what you are looking for within seconds from your desktop. If you didn't want to send the document straight into the folder, Power Retrieve can also address business processes such as credit control, sales order processing, and project management to name but a few in a very simple way. Instead of sending it through to a folder at the touch screen of the copier, you would be able to have buttons there with people's names or department names or group names and it would send it to that in tray. So at Mary's PC, she's had two documents sent to her in tray. Click on the first document and you can view that document. It jumps up to full screen as well. Delete that document in case I decide it's just junk mail, it's not important. Incidentally, it does actually go through to a user called deleted documents. So there is a safety net there should it be uh, mistakenly uh, deleted. But Mary could choose to just file it away. So simply select where it's supposed to go and press file. Or to address business processes, it could actually be selecting a colleague or another department to send that document to. So if she simply says, I need to send this through to Chris, she can add a note to it and just say, for instance, uh, this is correct, question mark you will see that it automatically date and timestamps when it got that note is applied and who it is that actually applied that note. 
So when Chris arrives, uh, receives that document, not only will he be able to see the document, but when it was stamped and by who for this note that was attached, so the instructions are there. So Chris could choose to add another note and say, yes, it's absolutely fine, Mary, you can, th for this time, because we had to do X, Y, and Z. What we're also able to do is set up flags for you with whatever definition is relevant to your organisation against these different colours. So a simple example here is that maybe Chris says invoice authorised, tick, and sends it back with the confirmation in a note that it's correct, etc. So Mary then files it away. It also logs who applied that flag and when, so you're in control that it's the right people that, for example, are authorising that document. Those flags are also searchable. So if we, for instance, stick in with a simple credit control example, say, can you show me all invoices that have been authorised where the project has been completed but we've not yet received payment? Do a search and it just brings me back two documents that have only got the two flags on them. So I now set about chasing payment for these two flags. I now secured payment for this document. I now am able to click edit because my login allows me to do so. And I simply tick payment received, update. And of course I can add a note to explain how they've paid, why they've paid, etc. And there may already be a sequence of notes here explaining why they haven't paid to date. Now that was just a simple credit control example. Because these definitions can be anything that's relevant to your organisation, that is why we're addressed in a whole plethora of business processes around the country. Whilst we're in this window, also worth pointing out that we have annotation tools available to us as well. So I can actually put a post-it note on that document. Also we've got something called call out where I can draw attention to part of a, a document or a drawing etc. The information in these annotations are also searchable at the same time as searching on the content. So if someone puts a post-it note on there with some important information, I would find it based on that information as well. I've also got the ability to highlight certain areas of text or Conversely, I can black over areas of text. We've also got a sequence of predetermined stamps that can be applied to these documents. So, for example, this has been approved. It's not actually changing the document because I can say either show or hide those annotations. Equally, you may have noticed when I press the email button, we have the ability to include or not include the annotations when we're sending the, the documents as attachments. Equally, I can print with or without the annotations as well. And it doesn't stop there with the annotations because instead of assuming that someone knows that there are annotations on documents, we bring their attention to it within the hit list. Now these two little symbols here, you will see that actually I've got a page stamp here that tells me that there are notes associated with it. And this one here tells me that there are annotations on that document. So I can simply click on there, I then click the notes tab and I will be able to see the entire history of notes applied to that document. In terms of annotations, great, they'll be able to see straight away that there is a post-it note on this document, but instead of then assuming that they're going to go flicking through the other pages to see if there are any others, we actually have an annotations tool tab that tells me that there are other annotations. It also tells me who applied that annotation and when. It shows me here that David also highlighted a couple of parts on page three. So they can simply click on that and it will jump them to page three and show them the parts that are highlighted. So there is intelligence with these annotations, makes it very, very useful. As well as scanned images, Power Retrieve is able to manage your electronic documents as well have an example here of an Excel spreadsheet and I know that by the symbol that we have here as well as the file name. Everything is presented in PDF format in Power Retrieve so that it's locked down and in the properties it's date and timestamp when it goes in. I cannot make any changes to that document. The authorities are happy. However, we retain the original format as well 
so that I can use this launch button that in this example it will open up Excel and a copy of that document. So I can now do whatever I wish to that document but because it's a copy I am not impacting the integrity of the original document. I cannot overwrite the original document in Paratrieve. I would save it as a new one and it would go in with today's date and time. So the best of both worlds, security to keep the authorities happy, but flexibility for that everyday use. We're also able to take emails into Power Retrieve. I have an example here of, a, of an email from my Outlook system. And as you'd expect, I can search by the sender, the recipient, the date, and the subject line if they'd put one on. We know the challenges that causes. And of course, the content of the email. But what we also do is if there are attachments in this email, it runs in a continuous stream down to those attachments and they are full content indexed as well. So I can do a search and actually find something that was attached to an email. It will jump me to that page and I found my document. But I need to see the email that it came in on. I simply flick myself back to page one and here is the original email. A very neat way of managing people's emails. So that is Power Retrieve, a very powerful solution but very simple to use. To capture you simply select the folder or in tray you wish to send it at the copier and you walk away. In terms of the client it is as simple as where are you looking, what are you looking for, what have you found and what does it look like. Do you want to print it, email it or launch a copy out. It's as simple as that. This has been a brief overview of Power Retrieve. A more detailed presentation can be provided upon request.